my stalker's back. And his brother, he's sitting in front of me. Yep, there's two of them. Hi loves, it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So today in our space, we have revealed it. About a week ago, myself and my sister Chrissy from Hosted by Chrissy and my sister from another mister, Mandy from Laugh Love Shop, invited you guys to a open collab and the collab's name is A Dear to My Heart, as the title says. So what we asked you to do is to show us one or two items that you have in your home that whenever you go to declutter your house and take things to like the thrift store for donation or throw things out or give them to someone else, you can never get rid of because they are that special to you. Sentimental items that are not practical, that you don't use, that might even be broken or something, but because you love them so much and they give you such a fond memory, you hold on to them. So today is reveal day and we are gonna be revealing our items that we are keeping that are so dear to our hearts. So I will link their channels, Chrissy and Mandy's, down below, along with the playlist of all the other participants in this collab. So now, I guess it's time for me to show you what I have. And the first thing happens to come in uh, this case. Now I'm gonna cover up the name that's on the case to give you guys just a second to see if you can guess what might fit in here. All right, now let me show you. My first item is uh, this humongous, a very heavy, video recorder and it still works. It fits in that case. It came with a cord to plug it into your TV or to plug it into a power supply just in case this heavy maxi battery on the back that doesn't work. And I have had this in my possession for I don't even know how long because my father who passed away in 2003 bought it and was so excited about this and gave it to me because he knew I loved electronics and he thought this was the greatest thing in the world. The thing is, it records straight to VHS tape. Yes, the VHS tape is inside this and it records straight to the tape. Now, I wasn't smart enough to charge the battery before so I can't take the tape out, but yeah, you can see that a VHS tape fits inside this recorder and then you can play it directly on the recorder. It is pretty cool for the time that it was. You can put an external mic on it. It's got this little eye hole thing. It's heavy people. Compared to the cameras and things that we use today, I don't know how we ever lug this thing around. But every time I go to declutter, I see this case and I cannot get rid of it. And so it's just been stored in there and I'm going to hold on to it until, well, forever. I know it's not worth anything. I know I will never have any use for it. Maybe my great grandkids or my great great grandkids or my great 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 grandkids could probably sell it for lots of money. <laughs> but for now, I'm pretty sure it's gonna hit the trash whenever I'm gone. So that is the first item that I have and it will be with me until my last So the day. second thing that I have to show you guys is a, this a fairly large quilt. I think it fits like a full size bed. And the reason this is dear to my heart is because I help make it. Now, when I was growing up, my mother always thought that it was a great idea for us to get into some kind of educational programs at the school or at the community center or the church. And so one of the programs I was in was the Laura Ingalls Wilders Club. She signed me up for it because she if you don't know who Laura Ingalls Wilder is, she's the author of the Little House on the Prairie books. And so we read the entire series and 
they decided that we should learn to do some of the things that they had to do in the olden days in order to make a house. And so there was about eight girls in this class and we learned to churn butter, to make candles, to milk a cow. I know we went somewhere and did. I think we learned to make bread and stuff and we also learned to quilt. So this is the quilt that we ended up making. Now we were supposed to all make our own quilt, but if you can imagine, eight third graders, what were we, like nine? We did not want anything to do with making a quilt all year long. So this square right here, this pink one, is a square that I made to go in, in this quilt. I made several of them actually because my mother made sure that I was making my quota of quilt squares that I was supposed to make. But as you can see, and I'll show you up here closely, it's not all that well constructed. So when there were not enough squares for each child to make their own quilt, I think myself and one of my girlfriends that was in it made the most number and then everybody else made like one or two. <laughs> the teacher put them all together in this one quilt and said we'd auction it off at the school fair and then use the money for like a pizza party or something. So. I wanted the quilt really badly and my mother who was on the PTA who helped run the school fair said I couldn't have it they were auctioning it off and so my dad saying my princess wants this quilt let me buy <laughs> some tickets for this auction spent about $50 in tickets that were like a dollar a piece and in the end they ended up calling my family's name like four to five times in a row. Yes, in a row. Every time they pulled a ticket, it was someone in my family's name and my mother said, no, we're not going to take it because I'm on the committee. That's not fair. And the next ticket would get pulled and it would be my brother. And the next one and it would be my sister. And the next one it would be my mother. And so finally they pulled my dad's name like twice and uh, the other committee member said, it's your quilt. Just take it. We're not pulling any more tickets. Just take it. And so I got to bring it home. And I love it, though I can never really use it because if we put it through the laundry, it will probably fall apart. All of the other little girls signed their name to the back of their squares. So I have a piece of my handmade, along with my friends, history. And I love it. And I'm going to hold on to it probably until I give it to my granddaughter to put on the foot of her bed. I'm pretty sure the first time they wash it, it's not going to survive the cycle. Maybe I'll try to fix it before I do that. But yes, that is my last item. So I want to thank the other participants who participated in this collab, along with my sister and Mandy. Like I said before, I will link their channels down below along with the playlist. So you guys, please go by and show everyone some love and check out their channels. Also, I want to thank you guys for watching, for liking, and sharing my videos. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button because we do fun things like this. I do collabs, we do challenges, tag videos, DIYs, home decor, lots of shopping videos. You know, I love my home goods and I gotta go there all the time. Also, you can follow me on Instagram if you like. It's Lacey Space, the same way that it is spelled here. And I just realized I have hot glue stuck to my hand because my next video coming up is a DIY. And I will catch you then. Bye, loves. Dollar Tree got their plates in. So this is the next DIY.